Well, hello again, everybody. It's March 4th. This is Grand Portage Gardener, and this is your Grand Portage Community Garden Update. I'm back again in my office with all my grow lights and all my green stuff growing. I did want to make a quick note and mention that I have YouTube and BitChute channel with the same name, Grand Portage Gardener, so you, you know, wherever you go, check it out somewhere. Seems like uh, YouTube, I hardly get anyone visiting my channel where BitChute, it's 10 times the amount, which I find a little curious. But I wanted to show some of what I got going on. And I made these grow bag herb containers with all different kinds of good stuff. Here I got parsley and dill, thyme, cilantro. Um, this one is just parsley and cilantro. But, I mean, it's still so cold outside, nothing can go out, which is really unfortunate. Um, got a hellacious amount of onion starts ready to go out. I mean, I'm hoping in the next month things melt enough to where I have some exposed raised beds that I can throw these in. But right now I still got a lot of snow. So here's some more onion starts. And then I got those onion starts there too. These herbs, here's some more dill, and this is celery, thyme, oregano, uh, sage. These are all going to go into a couple more grow bags, which I've got here. Uh, I just made them, so I'm letting some water soak in. And my sweet potato slips are looking great. Um, I've already cut some off. Got them rooting here. These are also going to grow, go in grow bags. Um, I started germinating peppers, uh, pepper seeds last week, and I've had a lot of success. Um, I'll show you what I got going on here. I got this shelf here. There's a baseboard heat, so this spot is nice and warm. Uh, cover them with a blanket and uh, so keep them nice and dark and I just put a paper towel there and sprinkle the seeds over make sure that they're separated and keep them warm and things have been working out pretty good on that front uh, I've already got 16 trays of peppers all different kinds um, this is you know, some of them, once they get bigger, I'm going to bring to my greenhouse that I got in my yard and, uh, you know, I'll make room for tomatoes. But I also built this rack uh, the end of last week. So I got, you know, three more lights and quite a bit more space here for, for seed starting. Uh, the other shelves that are over there, I did not build them, and they're, I won't really make any comment on how they were constructed, but this one is really simple. Um, it's pretty lightweight, and I just wanted to make it as cheap as possible, but yet strong, so the width and depth of it gives it a lot of rigidity. But to hang the lights, I just put a piece of one by and put some eye screws and some chain with some little S hooks. Now yeah, it's really easily adjustable and not complicated to install whatsoever. Um, I measured this space and it was eight foot almost exactly. So that allowed me three shelves of 32 inches which is a decent height and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with this uh, the top light I hung from the ceiling so 
I wanted to show some tobacco that I got growing here, or as we say here on the res, a SEMA. Um, part of the grant that I have a lot of funding from, I was asked to grow tobacco. Um, the seeds here, I mean, a lot of people grow tobacco, so I got unlimited access to seeds. But one of the good things that in doing some research that I found was that Tobacco can be a really good sacrificial plant for your garden. It can attract some of the bad bugs that go to plants that you would otherwise, you know, keep as food. Um, I think that when it when tobacco is green, there's a small amount of nicotine in it, which keeps the bugs basically addicted to it. Uh, I'm I may be misunderstanding it, but that's pretty much what I read online. So I'm gonna put these in certain areas throughout the garden and I started them early because I want them to be nice and big when they do go in uh, so that you know the, the bugs have a chance to um, establish on these plants so that they don't go towards my brassias and um, you know kales and broccoli and whatnot. And just the last thing here I wanted to show is some snapdragons and some lavender. Um, I planted these a while back. I was hoping that they would be in bloom by now. But they're not. Uh, pretty soon though, I should have something uh, here. And, you know, just keep me going before spring hits and wanted some color and some liveliness in, in the office here. Keep me motivated, looking forward to spring. And with that, I'll say goodbye, have a good one, take care, see ya.